let's go through how to export your material. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I did. If I go back to my info, my points, I made a few measured points. Um, as you can see here, just some points that I measured and recorded on the job. I want to show you that this can export not only the points that you made, but also the points that you might have measured, your station points, etc. You can export everything. So I zoomed in, you can see point two, point three, and point one is here. So I'm going to show you that it exports even the points you've measured and recorded. So let's go back. When you're ready to export, you go to File, and the if you are using Profus Layout Office, the quickest way to export all of your points is to just come right here to Copy Job. Just Copy Job, say that you're going to be pulling from the internal memory, meaning the tablet, and you're going to be sending the job to your USB. And the job that you want to export is the, the, the current job you're working on and you want to call this whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call this uh, job just so I can give you an idea and I'm going to say OK. OK, so I exported it. Now let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to bring over my software here. When you export that, it exports it as an HPL file. OK, an HPL file. I'm going to bring over Profus Layout Office briefly. When you bring over Profus Layout Office, you can come over here and say you want to import a new job. It's looking for an HPL file. Um, we have another tablet that saves it as a jobs file. But we're going to save it as an HPL file. That's what it saved out of the pock. So when you want to bring in a job that you've copied into Profus Layout Office as a job file, it saves it as an HPL file. You say open. and it pulls up here as a job and you can see all your points show up you don't need to scale it nothing it comes up scaled already but let me zoom in you can see that it saved all my layout points all my point names it's even scaled correctly five feet right I know those are five feet distances between each other and then down here you see those measured points as well coming in as squares right so what's nice about it is that you can Simply go into the POC, export all your points, and it will save all of your points as the points that they're called. Layout points, measured points, and even down here is where I station my tool. You can't see it because it's underneath the point, but my station is down there under that point. So it will save everything for you. Another traditional way, though, of exporting everything is just go to export. and you export from the job you want to export you just choose it here to your location which is going to be my USB and it goes to my D drive to Hilti Jobs and when I'm exporting a CSV I like to again be more specific in how I want to export the file I'm going to say I want to export in international feet units because I know they're going to be decimal units so this just helps me be more confident that I know exactly what's coming out as a CSV um, if you prefer to have your, if you prefer to have your units in uh, inches or in meters, that's up to you. Just remember that when you export it, you need to remember how you export it as well, because when you import it, it's important. So right now I have international feet selected, CSV. I say OK. Let me go ahead and change the name. I'll call this CSV. I'll say OK. And now let me show you what that looks like when you bring it in. I'll make a new job in Profus Layout Office called CSV. I'll say import points. You can see it's looking for my CSV. I'm going to open my Hilti Jobs folder, and there's my CSV. That's what I called it. Now you can also save it as a TXT if you prefer, either one. But I saved it as a CSV. I'll say open. And now I can come in here and say my points are separate. You know, I can import it into Provis Layout Office. And you can now see all my points 
are imported. And the only difference between this and the jobs is now these points they are there. These are my measured points, but you can see they're not squares. They're they're indicated as layout points in here, but they're still labeled correctly. Okay? So that's how you export points. You can also export not only the points, but also the CAD, the DWG. Now what this is actually asking you is if you want to make your point values a DWG. So your points, your layout points are going to, you want to export those in CAD format instead of point format. That's technically what it's asking. But then you're also going to have the option of exporting the CAD as well in this situation. And I'll show you. So for my job test, I'm going to go again to my USB. Say OK. And my file units. Again, this is up to you. Just remember how you export them. I'll say I'm going to export it as a uh, Let's say international feed, and I'll say OK. So what it's done so far is it's exported the point values as a CAD entity. And then it's asking me if I want to also export in separately the attached drawing, the one that I imported with the job. And I'm going to go ahead and say yes to this so I have that on file as well. And because this takes a while to export, let me just use this time to explain that when I say CAD entity, what I mean by that is that those points, when they're exported, they're no longer coordinates. They're exported as CAD entities. So like the circles of the layout points are now circles in CAD. It, it actually exports them as a block in AutoCAD that you can later go back and scale. And I'll show you more about that after this is finished exporting. So now let me go ahead and show you what that looks like in Profis. So first of all, here's my USB. You can see that in my Hilti Jobs folder, I now have my attached drawing, right? This is the drawing that's attached that I can just open up in AutoCAD. And remember that the, the units of this drawing stayed the same as the original. So the units for this drawing is still feet, is still feet, but it's the attached drawing. I'll show you what that looks like when I open up in AutoCAD. And then the CAD for my test is right here. I'm going to show you what that looks like in AutoCAD as well. Okay. Here is my attached drawing. You can see it exported just fine. Okay, And I'll go ahead and make sure the units for this are in inches, I mean are in feet. I'll zoom in here and do a quick distance measurement to show you that it exported correctly. 30 feet. Okay, And then over here I have my test. So when you export with the drawing attached, the drawing will come out with the test drawing. But the problem is, and this is something I don't know how to fix, and so I never really, I never really export the points as CAD entities. But I do like to export the drawing just to have the attached drawing if I if I lost it somewhere. But I never really care to also look at the actual drawing with the CAD entities because now if you look, I zoom out. I don't know why it does this, but it puts the points way down here as CAD CAD, CAD entities, and it looks strange. I mean, these X's represent those measured and recorded points I made. But it does export it as, out as a drawing. So if you do need these points in AutoCAD and for whatever reason you uh, need them as drawing entities, you can still export them. If you don't attach the drawing, it won't, it won't have this included on it. It'll just have this. Okay. So if I did not, say, include the attached drawing, it would just have that gone. And you would be left with only this. So if you do need this information, that's fine, but then you'd have to scale it. I'm just letting you know that's how I've, that's my workaround. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. You have the attached drawing, which is nice if you want to resave that drawing when you attach it. This is going to save the point entities as drawing entities that you will have to scale later in your CAD, and then you are also able to export the points themselves alone. You are able to export it as a job alone and save that into Profus Layout Office as well. And then of course you see here these are my original. So I hope that helps you to know how to export material out of the POC. Feel free to ask questions.